Oh wow! Rainbow Falls entrance. Okay. Are we gonna meet a, a butterfly? Let's see. It's been a while since the cutscene, so hmm. Uh, uh no, no cutscene. It's getting darker and darker though. Also, I moved outside, ho so hopefully it's not too uh buggy sounding. White seal. What's a white seal? Ew. We'll have to play it safe a little bit. We might have to pull out Max and, uh... Uh... Use his canoon. Because I think his cannon's better than her armband at the moment. But her sword's definitely better than his sword. Alright. No monsters so far? Super weird. Is there gonna be one big monster? Hmm. Well, I'll just assume that I'm lucky so far and haven't seen anything. So, why don't we talk about our topic, which we're going to continue the thought on uh, Hunter Fox. He's no big deal. The thought I had on... Whoa. Uh, uh, disorganization, basically. And uh, how to declare... Oh yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> The easiest way to start decluttering is to follow one simple rule, and that is for everything that you bring in, two things have to go out. This is absolutely the best way to start. If you can stick to this rule, you will have your place clean in no time. This is useful. Useless on him, actually. Oh my gosh. You stole my bread! I can't use healing items. I hope there's a healing thing on this floor. We should look for that. So Gyomos are going to be the, the biggest problem at the moment. Um, yeah, so if you, you send... Whoa! Two things out every time you buy one thing. And uh, it's good to stick within the same category to start with, too. So if you buy one book, you have to let go of two books. And this rule... See... <laughs> <laughs> I just saw what that was. I was walked into it. Okay, ride pod. But we need to... Whoa. Can I repair, repair it? I got a gooey peach somehow. I can't repair it. Oh, I can repair it. Okay, this thing can be repaired. Well, in that case, we might just fight everything on this level with it. Seems reasonable. I need more juice, though. Juice, juice, juice. Tell me I can use ride pod juice, at least. Yes, I can't. No, I can't. Well, that makes things complicated. Hmm. Are there another one? Uh, no, that's a Gyomo. Okay, well, let's try Max's canoon. That's kind of working. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorted. Um, yeah, so this will really help you just recover everything, uh, reorganize everything, rather. And it's tough at first, but if you can really be hard on yourself, no, that's the worst possible one. <laughs> uh, you can really make an impact in your stuff. And the, the areas where this makes the most difference is books, because a lot of people, they buy books with the intent that it will make them read more. And then it doesn't. Woo! Oh, you are just... Worthless! Oh my gosh! Jeez Louise. Um, so books are like hobbies. And uh, hobbies is another good one. People buy books with the intent that having a book means they will have time to read that book. But then they never actually make the time to read the book. <laughs> so... People usually just end up having a lot of books around. But they never are going to read them. So that's a griffin. That's super weird. A tigriff, actually. Whoa, jeez. It's weird. It's more like a hippocampus. Sort of a thing. Very strange. Okay, and I see another one over here. And uh, hobbies are the other one that's like that. Um, people will buy tons and tons of hobby-related uh, items. Assuming that they will have time for it. And it's kind of like you're buying time when you buy books and when you buy hobbies. But unless you make the time, you're not going to have time. And the thing is, the more of that stuff you have, 
the more you're gonna be like, uh, I don't know which one to do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any of them. And then you just go and watch TV. <laughs> so this is why you gotta kind of like prior prioritize. Like if you buy something new, that's probably the thing you actually want to do or use or have. So now let go of two other things. And uh, after doing this for a little while, uh, one of two things will happen. The first thing is you'll have a lot less stuff and you'll have only the things that you absolutely know you want and it's all of your nice new things that you actually really want and are using and the other thing that will happen is in a very short order you will get sick of letting go of stuff so every time you go to the store you'll be like no I don't want to get the things that I have I know that I want therefore I'm not going to get this and uh, loud budgeting was something that we covered once. Oh no! Oh, what a jerk! Okay. Max, you're up. Ay ay ay. You can't actually fight this thing, even though they tell you you can't, but there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Whoa, what am I looking at? Another one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Isn't that guy coming after me? This guy worries me more, actually. He's a lot tougher. There we go. Sorted. Alright. Now, lock on to target. Freaking dork over here. What? What? Okay, you can repair your weapons, apparently. Just... Ugh. But not, uh, <laughs> not your health. Oh my gosh, we just scraped through this one, but I think that's the last guy. Yes, it is. Phew! Perfect. All right. that takes care of you guys. Nobody dies today. Alright. <laughs> White Seal's broken! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Thank freaking goodness. Yeah, so once you get to the point where you're walking around a store and you're like, I don't need that, I like it, but I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. This is what people now are calling loud budgeting. And it is my favorite thing. It's where you actively are able to just say no to consumerism. You know what you have now because you sorted through everything and you reduced it down to what you really want. You sorted through everything, and the things that you have brought in are things that you know that you want. And now, when you go out, you can say, Nope, I don't need it. And that is a whole topic for another day, is how empowering that phrase is. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope this uh, decluttering tip helps you, because holy cow, has it ever helped me. This was the one that I started on way before I decided to become a uh, minimalist, and it just just made my life so much easier so uh yeah uh jump on the patreon to support independent game development and have a better week to me and bye